how to create automated invoices from Google Form. We are going to learn in this lesson. Hi guys, I'm Kevin Kishan, India's leading business automation coach. And if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Every week, tons of valuable lessons are coming to you. So let's get started. By the way, if you're a business owner, you do the business, you sell some products or some services. And when you do that, you need to give the invoice to your client. Now, if you're using any invoice based software, that is okay. But if not, in this tutorial, you are going to find the solution on how can you send automated invoices just from Google form. So I have this invoice generation form with me, which I'm right now creating for you. We have added the name. Okay. And whenever you fill this, you will create an invoice and that invoice you can email to your client as well. Are we clear? So here we have a name of the client, what is the name of the client, what is the email address, hai, what is the client's company name, what is their address and if you are doing the business in India, you can write what is the GST number. Okay. Then, for example, you are dealing in few products. Okay. You are dealing in LED TV, laptop. Okay and maybe mobile phone okay so here we will choose which product we are selling to the client because it is a multiple choice question you can choose one out of all three okay and then next is what is going to be the quantity of the product which we have chosen first then we will talk about the product two so out of all three the third was mobile phone right Out of all three, what is the second product which we're selling to the client and then the quantity of product two. So the same way we can have multiple questions like that. Product one and then quantity of product one, product two, quantity of product two and then we can take it to even product five, even product ten as well. Are we clear? Just wait because now I'm going to connect this with a invoice based Google Sheet and then you will see how automatically we can create it. Are we clear? Okay. So now we are going to search form publisher add on. Now this is an add on which is available on Google workspace marketplace. What do you do is simply go to this and you click on the install option, whichever is given here. There'll be two option guys, individual install and admin install. Go for the individual install. Once you do that, come back to the Google form and refresh the same. And once you refresh, you will see this icon coming on your Google form where you will see this add on form publisher coming in the picture. Clear? Now, along with this, once we set up this before that, let us have one Google sheet. Okay. Where we set up our invoice template. So I write sheets.google.com and that is where I click on the template gallery. That's where I get multiple templates like invoice, weekly timesheet, expense report, uh, Gantt chart, purchase order, etc. So we click on this invoice template and you will see this simple template coming here. Okay. So for you, I have already created one. This invoice template where you can add your company name. Okay. For example, your company name is ABC company. Okay, this is your company's address and here you want to add the customer's name, company name, address, their GST number, etc. Okay, here we can add the address. Here you can add the product which we are going to sell it to them. Now, let me just guide you on how to connect this Google Sheet with this Google Form. So, firstly, understand that we want to connect this Google Form with this template. So, whatever items, whatever column names which are coming in this Google Form, if you want to connect that with that particular Google Sheet, then you need to do it like this. For example, address, you copy this. You paste it here and then you need to add it as a marker. You need to start with opening and closing bracket. Same way here we have company name. So we have company name, opening bracket, closing bracket. 
and this is how you connect the Google form with this particular template using the form publisher add-on just to wait because that's what I'm going to tell you how to connect this template with Google form but I hope you're clicking with this that if you want all these fields to come in the template then you need to wrap up the field with this opening bracket and closing bracket okay same way here we have the product one product two here also we have product one product two you can add if you have more than one product that you want to sell you can add more rows here by going to insert by adding more rows right so maybe you can you want to add up to 10 products in one invoice right now we are going for only two products so product one and product two but here we are having uh, these like LED TV laptop mobile phone so whenever we fill the Google form we can choose our either laptop or LED TV or mobile phone now here you can see that whatever we fill there we want it to come here and that is how we write product one and opening and closing bracket same way here as well and then here we are asking for the quantity of product one and that is also we have added here below the quantity column we have added here quantity of product one with closing and opening bracket so whatever field from the google form we want to add in the template we need to add it as a marker with opening and closing bracket now coming the unit price now here you know we can choose anything it could be LED TV laptop mobile phone how do we define what is going to be the price of it so for that we have a different sheet okay sheet to where you can add these products LED TV laptop mobile phone okay it could be it is a product and it is the price so this is the product and price table where you have the product listed its price and here in Google sheet we have the unit price option so how do we fetch the unit price we will use a formula called VLOOKUP okay so VLOOKUP help you to fetch the price of the product from a database so we click on this it is asking for which product you are looking for the price we are looking for this product Okay, right now it is written as product one, but when we will connect with Google form, it will automatically, you know, search for that product. It could be LED TV, laptop or mobile phone, comma. Now here it is asking, what is the range? Where is the database? So for that, we go to the sheet two and we choose here the sheet two, okay. So here we can write from A1 to column B, comma, which column has the answer? Which column has the price? So it is the column number two out of all the product and price, the column two has the answer, comma zero. The last variable of the VLOOKUP is always zero or false. And right now the answer we're getting it error, which is hash NA. Why? Why? Because it is not able to find the price of this product one. Why? Because there's no product one here. However, here we are not going to search for product one. We're going to search for this or this or this. So whenever we'll fill it, it will come here in this template and automatically the price will come here. And here in the total price, we have, you know, actually done the multiplication. So we are multiplying the E19 into F19. So we are multiplying the quantity with unit price. And here automatically we are adding the total, right? So automatically it is taking the total of all three, all these two products. Okay. Now let us check on how do we do it. Here I want to even add the date as well. Okay. So I'll go for today when right. In the brackets today it will fetch today's date only now how do we connect this google form with this template where all the variables that we have written here are actually the variables of this particular google form okay so for that we click on this option called form publisher and launch the form publisher once we do that it asks us to choose a document where do you want to connect this particular Google form? So let 
it get launched so now it is asking us to choose a document we go for spreadsheet we go for the document called invoice we click on select it is asking us to choose that out of this invoice we had two sheets invoice and sheet 2 and which sheet you want to select or do you want to connect the entire document or we want to collect it only with invoice sheet save and close so let's see you know how it comes up by the way are you a business owner who wants to learn this on by filling a google form how to create invoices tell me in the comment box what is your business are you a manufacturer trader or a service provider okay guess what guys here we have connected this template where we have added a standard marker which is today and all the eight questions are absolutely matched including name which is here including company name which is coming here including gst number which is coming here address and we are asking for product quantity all these variables are absolutely matching with this okay and we are finger crossed wondering whether it will pick up the unit price from this sheet using VLOOKUP formula or not because if it does means we have automated the invoice generation process let me just put myself here cool okay so we have done this let us refresh this once again now in the form publisher when we click on this option here our template and marker is set when we click on the destination now it is asking us that whenever you fill the form where will this you know pdf the invoice will be saved so you can change it or you know by default it will have a folder in google drive where your document will be saved okay so you can change the destination as well third it is asking you do you want to have any naming convention for this do you want to uh, name this document with a particular format so here it says template title and then increment what we can do is we can give it the company name which is this so i copy this and then it will keep incrementing as well okay so let me click on save let's explore other options before we actually test it and use it then it is asking do you want to share it with client yes we want to email the invoice to the client let's learn on how do we do it so here by default it is created on my email address uh, so by default it is going to that but along with that you can add a recipient as well and for that i'm picking the email address of the client and in the opening and closing bracket we can send pdf we can send the uh, excel or other or we can give them the google sheet where we can they can edit the invoice but we just want to send the pdf do you want to personalize the email so for that we click on this personalize email notification template this option and here it will give us the option of personalizing the email as well so for that what we do we design the email cool so here you can see here you can say no reply you do not want them to reply on this you can say okay sender name is no reply and here subject could be anything you can write the file name on publisher here you can customize this as well okay and you can click on save you can customize the body you can customize the subject you can customize the sender name as well cool so we have done this we have added this option where we are going to email to the client here you can even add the workflow like before sending it to the client do you want to have any approval process so you can try that out as well right now let's go with the simple process here type in the comment box how to create approvals using google form maybe i'll create another tutorial on that then cool so let's go ahead and test it out let me just open the google form and let us write the client name client name could be okay cable 
and it's I'll just write my own email address here and the company name could be here we can write address here we can write the GST number here I am going to choose laptop first product and the quantity I am going to choose 5 I am going to choose LED TV as the second product and the quantity I am going to choose is 20 okay so summarizing it once again guys uh, I am going to fill this invoice generation form and let's see whether we are able to create the invoice or not uh, fill the name email address company name address GST number which product we want to sell to the client what is going to be the quantity product to its quantity and here we have connected the you know product and price here and we are picking it up in this template the price and the total price as well so let me submit it and let's see on how it goes three two one so guys we have filled this form and let's see whether we got the pdf or not so let's see what document what invoice has been generated so for that we go to response here we go to the google sheet and this is where we find this latest entry and let me click on this three two one and guess what we have automated invoice generation process so here the invoice for cable the company name the office address the gst number we had added two products laptop by quantity and this is the beauty of automation it has picked up the price which is 300 rupees in which i think was right which was laptop yeah 300 for led tv it's for 150 so laptop 300 into 5 1500 automatically calculated 150 into 23000 rupees automatically calculated so 4500 let's see whether we have received it on the email or not cool we have received it dear clients please find us the generated document so we have received it here as well so i hope this video was valuable to all of you and all the business owners who are learning in this video i hope you were able to clear and get the complete understanding on how can you generate automated customized invoices or even quotations purchase order or any other document uh, through form publisher add-on for more videos make sure you subscribe to the channel if you like this video you click on like button share this with your colleagues with your teammates so that they could implement it for your business you can check out in the description we have upcoming business automation masterclass do attend the same if you want to automate your business Keep learning, keep automating, keep scaling your business. Thank you so much.